Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. I know it's easy and fashionable and clicky to dunk on Matt Canada, and believe me, there's good reason and merit to hammer away, but I wanted to use today's take to analyze his Thursday comments telling reporters he was not aware of Deontay Johnson's open score, ESPN's metric, that rates him as the most consistently open receiver in football. Canada said he did not know anything about it, and that predictably brought on criticism. I don't think I expected Canada to know the number, and I'm not convinced that specifically matters, but it makes me think, are the Steelers still anti-analytics? Even with Kevin Colbert out, is this coaching staff led by the go-from-your-gut Mike Tomlin using any advanced metrics to scout, analyze, and game plan? I'm sure to some degree they are. No team in 2022 is going strictly off tape and vibes. But the Steelers' anti-analytics approach has been made known for years, and I don't think that's immediately shifted. So my point is less about Johnson's open score, it doesn't take a genius to know Johnson is a strong and open route runner, but what other numbers is this team ignoring? I'll repeat and make it clear, analytics should be a component in not driving the bus, but it does not sound like the Steelers are doing anything more than the basics when it comes to advanced stats. I don't know how much it's hurting them, but it's certainly not helping them. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.